This is Dr. Cal Shipley with a review of Dermal Filler Embolism to the Ophthalmic Artery. To get the most out of this presentation, I'd recommend that you review my video VAS 301 on the vascular anatomy of the eye and face and VAS 302 on dermal filler injections before viewing this one. Both of these videos may be found in the vascular library at trilimage.com. Let's start this segment with the definition of an embolism. An embolism is a blood clot or a piece of biological or foreign material which travels through the bloodstream and lodges in an artery. Most commonly, in the artery involved, the embolism results in partial or complete obstruction to blood flow beyond the point where the embolus has become lodged. Let's examine the mechanism of embolism in dermal filler injections. The technique employed in dermal filler injections involves the insertion of a relatively fine needle, often 27 gauge, into the deep dermis beneath the wrinkle being treated. As the needle advances, it may shear off one or more arterioles among the dense web of blood vessels present in the deep dermis. In this example, Artifil has been used as the dermal filler of choice. The sheared arterioles do not interfere with the placement of the dermal filler. One or more of the sheared arterioles in the deep dermis may communicate with the tunnel created by the advancing needle. As the dermal filler enters the tunnel under pressure, particles of it may be pushed into the sheared arteriole. These particles travel to larger arterioles. and ultimately into a nasal artery. From the nasal artery, the particles may travel to one of dozens of possible alternate routes with no effect on the eye. If, however, the particles travel a route which leads to the ophthalmic artery, they may be pushed into the central retinal artery. and hence into arteries supplying blood flow to the retina. The particles have embolized to the retina and by obstructing its blood flow may result in significant impairment of vision or even blindness. The process of embolism takes just seconds Embolism to the ophthalmic artery with subsequent visual impairment may occur with any of the agents commonly in use, 
including hyaluronic acid gel and human fat. Due to the extensive interconnections of the arteries in the face, a dermal filler-related ophthalmic artery embolism is theoretically possible from almost any injection site. It is very important to note that blindness as a result of dermal filler injection in the face is exceedingly rare, with about two to 400 cases reported worldwide out of many millions of injections done. The number of cases of partially impaired vision after dermal filler injection is undoubtedly higher, but these cases still represent just a tiny fraction of the overall number of injections done worldwide. 